Jen from I'm Just Like You and today I have another lipstick collection review for you guys. Um, I hope that this is going to be as helpful as the other ones that I've done just because there are going to be lip swatches and um, my thoughts on each color. Um, these are very comparable to the Revlon Lippers. These are the Maybelline Whispers and when I saw these and I know that they came out so that it can be um, in competition with the Revlon ones I had to pick it up to share it with you guys. Comparing it to the lip butters, the consistency isn't as great and creamy since it is a lip butter and this one's more of a lipstick. Um, but this one, I would have to say what's better than the lip butters is that they have a great color selection. I think all of the colors in this collection is very wearable as well as it's extremely um, wide range of colors. So I know for sure you guys will find the perfect colors for you, um, either if you like mauves to nudes and um, berry to reds. So I am really excited about the color selection because once I have purchased um, them all, it was really hard for me to pick which one is my absolute favorite um, just because I literally love almost all of the colors. Um, for longevity wise, this one isn't as great just because it doesn't have that creaminess that's going to stay on your lips. Um, this texture is a little bit more powdery, so it doesn't give you that sticky feeling if you don't like that. But for me, I think anything that's more creamy and more sticky in a way, it's going to stay on your lips much better. This one is more of a um, powdery consistency. Um, you can feel a little bit of a grittiness when you're applying it. But overall, it does moisturize and it doesn't accentuate my um, crevices or, you know, my wrinkly lips like I always say. Um, this one, I think if I had to pick, I would say the Lip Butters formulation is still my favorite. But this one, um, the Whisper, I just think that their colors are great. Um, the formulation isn't consistent throughout the whole entire collection, so there are going to be some colors that are going to be better than the others. So let's just get started with um, the colors. So the color system is actually numbered from um, in increments of 5. So I have number 5 to 100, and of course there is going to be names. I'm going to post all of the names and the numbers as I am talking about each color. Number five is a nude and it's actually a very beautiful warm nude. I don't compare this one to the Revlon Crimsicle Lip Butter just because the other one I found it to be a little bit more draggy and you can see a little bit of the dryness but this one I think is much more better in formulation for nudes just because it does um, apply well. It's more wearable if you don't have pigmented lips. So on me, it might look a little bit um, more chalky, but I do think that it is a pretty color and I think it's going to be more flattering for a lot more people if you are looking for a nude. Alright, number 10 is my least favorite of the collection. This is extremely chalky and white on. I think um, the formulation was not that great. It's more of a cooler nude than the number 5. All I can say is this one was not my favorite and I don't know if this could actually look good on anyone or if anyone wants to wear it by itself just because it isn't flattering and it can make you look coarse-like. Alright, so number 15. Um, this one is a little bit more of a nude that has um, an undertone of a little brownness in it. So any nudes that have a little bit of brownness, I think it's more flattering on those who have pigmented lips just because it just lightens your lips but it isn't going to make it look chalky. Um, this one has a little bit of shimmer in it, but on your lips, I can't really see the shimmer. This one is much more pigmented than the last two. And if I had to pick between all of the lighter and nude colors, this one would have to be um, my favorite. Alright, so speaking of favorite, the next color is more on the mauve side rather than um, a nude. But this one is one of my favorites, definitely. This is called Mocha Muse, and I really like this one just because it is a creamy color. Um, it has mauve in it, so I think it's much more flattering against your skin when you are wearing a lighter color. This one just lightens my lips, yet gives me color at the same time. So I like that about nudes and um, lighter colors, just because you don't want a lighter color just to wash your whole complete face. This is a color that I would pair with many of my smoky eyes and probably wear it on an everyday basis if I wanted to tone down my look a little bit. Alright, so the next color, number 25, is a pink nude. 
and this is more on a purple base in my opinion. I think this is going to be absolutely gorgeous on those who have cooler skin tones um, that are more fair. This one has a purple base on it, so if you do have some pigments in your lips that are darker, I think this is going to kind of um, not be as flattering. But I do think that this is a great color for those who wants to wear like an everyday color but they are not used to wearing too much lipstick or too much color. This is probably going to be one of those more favorable colors for a lot of people just because it's, you know, the safe blushy color. A really gorgeous color. Uh, I tried this on my friend and I think um, she loves corals but she absolutely loved this just because it was a coral that is intertwined with a pink and um, this is really 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 cute and it is pigmented enough so you don't have to go over your lips many times. This one in my opinion the formulation was perfect so um, I know for sure this one's going to be selling out off the shelf so if you can get your hands on this or um, you think you might like it, I definitely will suggest you to try it out. Alright, so number 35 is um, a more white base type of peachy color. I think this is much more of a spring color. It has a white base on it that can cause it to look more chalky if you do have crevices in your lips. But um, I don't think that it isn't wearable. For me, this reminds me a lot of the formulation for YSL. Um, the ones with the beautiful packaging. Ugh, I can't think of the name right now, but I will put it right here for you. I think this is a very similar um, effect, yet this one I didn't find it to last on the lips very long just because it does have that wider um, base to it. So when you put it on and you talk a little bit, it does settle in the crevices and then sooner or later I feel like it does kind of come off. So this one isn't one of my favorites, but if you are looking for more of a younger, fresher coral color for the spring, that is a color that I think is going to be popular. And number 40, in my opinion, is very similar to the um, Revlon Lip Butter in Tutti Frutti, but this one is much more wearable just because it has more of a red rather than more of an orange, and the pigment is, isn't as intense. So if you're looking for more of a sheer... Uh, orange red and this is probably a color that you should pick up just because this one I think it's wearable yet it's sheer enough that um, it isn't going to be too overpowering but if you do want it to wear it as a statement lip then you would just have to apply a little bit more um, the pigmentation for that one I think is just perfect for that color alright so for the next color which is number 45 this one is very bright as you can see it's a warmer red pink um, I wouldn't say it's red because probably as you can see in the packaging it might looks a little bit red but it's more on the pinker side I think this one would be great on cooler skin tones and um, it's a fun color it reminds me of um, the L'Oreal Caress one that is in the sequence color that I wore in my video um, but this one I think the pigmentation is a lot better than um, the rest of the collection, but it could be, it could have a little bit more of an improvement. All right, so for number 50, this one's even more pink than the last one. It's very vibrant, and I think this one is more of a jelly like type of finish when you have it on your lips. This is going to be a great color for the spring and summer just because it's a nice pop of color. I definitely do suggest this as a statement lip rather than um, if you were to have like a smoky eye and applying this color. Um, it can be wearable for a more um, made a more dramatic look just because it is a little bit sheer but I wouldn't suggest it you know against a more dramatic eye. Um, I do think that it's better for just a really nice stain on the lip. 55 in my opinion is the sheerest of them all in pigmentation wise. Um, when I saw this in the tube, I was like, oh no, it's another white base type of color. But honestly, this isn't a white base. It's actually really creamy. And when you apply it, it just enhances your lip color. I do suggest for those younger viewers of mine, those who are um, in their teens and haven't really gotten into makeup or doesn't really like a lot of color, this is definitely something I would pick up just because it gives you a little bit, just a little teeny tiny tint and it's moisturizing and um, it's a nice color to reapply without a mirror. Alright, so moving on to number 60, we're going towards the pinks now. And this one is a definitely true bubble gum pink. Um, this is going to be popular, I think, for those who love 
Barbie looks. I need. I know like um, anyone that loves the Friday color by MAC is going to love this one just because it's more wearable again because it's more sheer but you still get the same effect. This one in my opinion has a little bit more purple in it once you put it on your lips but um, I think it's going to be more wearable for those that have cooler skin tones rather than those who have warmer skin tones. This one is much more pigmented, so if you do love your pinks and you're more confident wearing color, then this one is probably something that you're going to love. This is going to have more warmer undertones, so it's going to be much more flattering. Um, it's a really beautiful pink, and it's sheer enough and pigmented enough that it is going to be wearable. I really think tan skin is kind of harder to wear pinks just because it can make you look ashy, but this one I think is going to be a great one if you have a tan. And so if you do love your pinks and you want something a little bit more exotic, number 70 is probably something that you're going to love. This one is much more Barbie that has a lot, a lot of blue undertone. This one is more vibrant. It's so creamy that it is wearable and um, it isn't too crazy. You don't have to reapply, reapply in order to get the pigmentation that you want. You can just wear um, a little bit and it actually really brightens up the face. Number 75, this one has glitter in it and I think out of the whole collection, this one, the glitter actually shows on the lips. This one is a more wearable color for those who aren't into those bright Barbie or bright coral colors. This is more of a um, everyday color in my opinion. This one, um, even though it's has a little bit of an orange warmer undertone in my opinion. I think it's very wearable. I think for a mature woman, um, I think this color is going to be popular among those age groups. Almost done. So bear with me. Number 80. This one is very comparable to my other favorite from Revlon Lip Butter, which is Pink Truffle. This one's a little bit darker, a little bit more brown, um, and it does have a little bit of a red undertone to it. My lips but better with a little darker twist. So this is a great color for the fall and winter if you don't want to go too dark just because it is kind of like your lip color. I think this is a great color. Um, again, it's one of my favorites. 85 is another one of my favorites just because I do love that vampy trend, but this one isn't too vampy. It's not too dark. Um, if you do like to try out those types of different darker lip trends, but you kind of don't want to commit to either the price of a lipstick or commit to the pigmentation and the deepness of the colors, this one is probably going to be better just because it is more sheer and more wearable. Again, this is one of my favorites just because um, I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color to wear against um, from fair skin to darker skin tones to just medium skin tone. Number 90, this is more of a very purpley color. Um, to me, it's very lilac. Um, in my opinion, I couldn't wear this just because, again, any lilacs that has a white base isn't going to be flowering on warmer skin tones. But I think for those who love nude colors and want more of a pop of color that is like a lilac or an um, exotic color, then this is probably something that you're going to like. I noticed that a lot of um, people that like nudes are going to like lilac colors just because it's a different color that is still has that white base. Uh, for me this one um, was a little chalky but not too much but it's very blue based so definitely better for those who have cooler skin tones. Number 95, this is Matte from Magenta and this one is a very purple berry with pink glitter and to me the pink glitters you can't really see on your lips but you do feel it when you apply it. This is very pink on the lips, but um, I think this is great for cooler or warmer skin tones. Any color that has more of a purple tint is going to be harder to wear for those who have warmer skin tones, but this one, because it has more of a berry um, touch to it, it is more wearable. All right, so for the last color, this is um, number 100, and this one looks really dark in the tube, but actually it is not as dark as number 85. Again, remember as I was saying, number 85 is the one that is most pigmented out of the whole entire collection, and this one you assume that it's going to be dark, but actually it's very sheer. So. Um, it's a deep berry color as compared to number 85, but this one I think is much more of a wearable darker color just because of its sheerness. Again, if you are trying to find something that is like a regular lipstick, 
um, with just a little bit of hydration, then probably um, number 100 is not for you just because it is too sheer. So that is the complete collection that I purchased from number 5 to 100. I hope you guys enjoy the review and that you found it helpful. If you have any questions regarding the review or any of the colors, then of course please ask me and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Um, I hope that you like this review and if you want to see more lipstick reviews from the drugstore, then please like this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!